I play the role of Jason Butler, in charge of inventory management and planning at OEC Computers. The company manages a large warehouse and keeps inventory on site. The main issues today are around over and understocking of inventory items, and as a result, orders are being delayed and customer satisfaction is diminished. My goal is to have a better visibility into inventory turnover, overdue orders, and items with quantities below minimum or above maximum. I also want to be able to plan inventory purchases based on demand rather than my gut feeling. When I log in to SAP Business One, I can immediately see that my on-time delivery is pretty low at 53% which makes sense knowing the issues we are facing with inventory management. The inventory value is above the target of 5 million, which means I'm keeping the wrong items in stock. Inventory turnover is above 6%, which indicate the company is selling at a pretty fast rate. However, together with the high inventory value, seems like there are many items in stock that are not being sold. Just by looking at these key performance indicator, I can learn a lot already and identify where the problem is. I also have a report here that shows me items below their uh, set minimum or above maximum inventory. So I can quickly identify those problem items. So I want to slice and dice the data a bit more. When I look at the inventory turnover by item group, I can see the breakdown by different product lines. I'm most interested in the rainbow printers. These dashboards are dynamic. I can drill down to see which items are included in this group. Then I can open the item master data itself to learn more. Looking at the inventory tab in the item master data, I already see a potential problem. I only have nine in the main warehouse and I know it's a fast moving item that sells a lot. I will set the minimum quantity to 20. By this, I will be alerted when the quantity falls below. In the planning data, I will set the lead time to three days which is the time it takes me to receive the item from the vendor and the order multiple to five since it comes in packages of five. All the attributes here in the planning data for the item allows me to better plan and predict my needs so I can fulfill orders on time. At this point, I'm going to take advantage of the predictive engines embedded in Business One to identify the number of rainbow printers I would need until the end of the year. I'm going to use the forecast, which is part of the MRP module. I placed a shortcut right here on the main screen for it. The forecast is for rainbow printers. It's going to be a monthly forecast until the end of the year. I can manually enter the forecast, but this is what I did until now. So instead, I'm going to generate an intelligent forecast. I restrict it by item group of rainbow printers, and I base it on AR invoices then generate the forecast. SAP Business One looks at historical data a few years back and predict what's my rainbow printer sales will be in the orange area. I can adjust the time bucket if I don't want to go that far in the past. So I will put 25. Just to verify that I can trust the recommendation, 
I can drag the prediction area back to the beginning of the year to see what would have been forecasted if I ran it back then. I can see it matches pretty good. I also see that April of 2017, I had a particularly low number of sales, which is not typical. I will go ahead and adjust it just for the forecast purposes and see how this affects the recommendation. I can look at this item by item and make adjustments as needed. At this point, I accept the recommendation and save it. I can make any manual changes if I need, but at this point, I'm going to save it to the system. The next phase is to use the MRP wizard, which takes me step by step in reading the requirements and sources using different criteria and provides me a recommendation as to what I should purchase or produce, when and how much. I open the MRP wizard from here. I'm going to run an existing scenario I previously created, only now I will add my sales forecast we just created. It's a rainbow printer forecast for the next seven months. I can see the items, the rainbow printers. I will only run it for the main warehouse. And right here in the document data source, I'm going to include the sales forecast. Of course, I can have multiple forecasts includes, included in the same scenario at the same run. Now I'm ready to run the wizard. If I expand the item, I can check out different areas and how the system got to the number. For example, here I can see the number is coming from my sales forecast. Here it's a combination of a future sales order and the forecast. On the recommendations, I will see a list of recommended item purchases, quantities, dates, and the preferred vendor. I'm going to save the recommendation. And finally, I can go ahead and execute it. Closing this screen, I will now go ahead and open the order recommendation. Here, I select the scenario I just ran and click OK. I can choose to create the purchase orders in this example based on the system's recommendation. I can still make some adjustments to quantities and dates, even the vendor. Once I update, purchase orders are created in the system and sent to my vendor. In this demo, we saw how to monitor inventory levels and get notified by the system when inventory values or quantities are exceeded. Using different KPIs and dashboards, I could analyze inventory turnover by group. Then using the intelligent forecast, I let the system decide my sales quantities for the rest of the year and combining with the MRP wizard, automatically create purchases in time so I can fulfill the requirements.